y'all. This is DJ Throwdown coming at you from the Beat Refinery. And for this video, I want to talk to you about organizing your cue points for effective mixing and on the fly edits. So a lot of my students, they come to me asking, hey, I really dig this cue point feature, but I'm not really sure how to go about deciding which sounds or where in the song I should set cue points. What's the purpose of them? And uh, I usually say that there's a lot of different ways you can approach this. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go over setting cue points throughout the song to give you quick access to key phrases within the song for mixing. Um, the first place I tell people is a really great spot to set a cue point is going to be wherever that first point is that you expect yourself to mix a song into. It's almost always going to be the first kick of a song, the first introduction of drums because drums act as like a built-in metronome in the song. So if you can set a cue point there, you're gonna always find that a handy way to start blending a song in. Um, also, when you're looking at the screen, you can see the entire waveform of the song right in front of you. So these cue points can act as a visual marker that shows you throughout the song where you've set your cue points that you decided were important places to have quick access to. You can see right here in this Bubble Butt song by Major Lazer, I've got three cue points. And the first one is gonna be right at the kick, the first kick of the song. And then the second cue point, this yellow one right here, that's gonna be when the sub bass comes in. Bubble butt, bubble, bubble, bubble butt. And then for the third cue point, I've got this right down here. There's a, an explosive sound that kind of acts as a rinse right before the song comes right back in. Okay, open. So the reason I chose these three cue points is when I spin this song out, usually, I don't even bother playing it with the vocals intact. I just want to set this first cue point right here, the red one, to introduce the song into a mix. And then cue point number two, where the sub bass comes in, that's typically where I do a quick little beat juggle showcase. And then the beat juggle is going to take up maybe 20 seconds or so. 20, 30 seconds. So at that point, once I complete the beat juggle and I let the song play, I just want to jump right to this rinse sound effect. Okay, open up your so it jumps right to a fresh part of the song. And by that point, I'm preparing to mix in a new song. So organizing my cue points in this way allowed me quick access to a mix in point for myself, where I prefer to mix in, and it also allowed me quick access to a showcase section of the song where I do my beat juggle, and then the third cue point allowed me to quickly skip further ahead in the song to a fresh point, just to keep it moving, and that saved me a lot of time where I could do it on the fly as opposed to going into third-party editing software and having to create an edited version of this. This allowed me to do this right there on the spot in the club. And now I'm going to demonstrate for you all how this would happen in a live setting. I'm gonna start us off with a Classic Man remix, and then I'm gonna go right into it with the Bubble Butt track, utilizing the cue points that I just set for myself. I'm a classic man. You can be me when you look this clean. I'm a classic man. Calling on me like a young OG. I'm a classic man.
There you have it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is DJ Throwdown coming at you from the Beat Refinery. Visit us at beatrefinery.com and join the conversation at hashtag learn to DJ. Click like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one.